This video, however, will now move to considering the spiritual component. It will cover and expose what are, in my opinion, clear and striking manifestations of a demon operating in James White. James White repeatedly flashes and displays the El Diablo hand sign. No way. The El Diablo hand sign, or the devil's horns, looks like this. This is a picture of Anton LaVey, the founder of the quote, Church of Satan, giving the devil's horns hands. Look, Anton LaVey also has a beard. And look at this. He has a goatee there. Look at that. Look at that. James White also has a goatee. And then Anton LaVey, the founder of the Satanists, also has a beard. I want to point something else out. James White has two eyes. Guess what? Anton LaVey has two eyes. What else have I noticed here? James White is bald. Anton LaVey is also bald. James White exists in the third dimension. Anton LaVey also exists in the third dimension. Point proven. James White has displayed this symbol many times, far more times than anyone I've ever seen. In my opinion, wait, there's- Wait, 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 Peter Diamond literally went through all these videos to try to find how many times he displayed his hand? Did he really stalk James White to this extent? My goodness, there is no way. That would take so much time. Wow. Let's be clear. James White's many heresies, false doctrines, and lies prove that he's of the devil. But God will sometimes allow or compel a demon to manifest its presence in someone by various external indications and signs. He has done it many times publicly in speeches, in programs, etc. And he also, in every one of these videos, has a bald head. Just like Anton LaVey has a bald head. He displays it all the time. And so the demon in him must probably prompt James White to shave his head because if you look carefully here it still looks like there's some short hair follicles to me it seems like you know he's still growing a little bit right there okay so he's still capable of growing some like right there all right but the reason why he's not is it's probably because the demon inside of him is compelling him to shave it so that he can look just like anton LaVey, who started the satanists checks out to me by the way again i do like this shirt that that is pretty cool is that a kooji shirt i need to get me a kooji shirt look carefully at james white's face all right okay so we're gonna analyze the face now all right again keep in mind anton lavey has a nose and guess who else also has a nose take a look at this face and tell me who else has a nose james white has a nose keep your eyes on his face okay all right he has eyebrows right there two eyebrows guess who else has eyebrows anton LaVey. keep your eyes on the face and pay attention you will see if you are observant and honest is that white's face is actually contorting and that he is in fact making demonic faces what he does this many times in the debate especially when he begins to attack the truth that infants should be baptized to get the full picture, one should carefully view all the clips I'm going to cover. Here's the first clip we will consider. I'm not seeing it contorting. What? And he, the jailer, took them that very hour of the night and washed their wounds and immediately he was baptized, he and all his household. Did you see that? No, I didn't. Let's play that again. Okay. And he, the jailer, took them that very hour of the night <laughs> and washed <laughs> <laughs> you serious the only thing demonic here is the delusion that peter is under to think that this is a facial contortion from a demon white actually makes these demonic and contorted faces many times in the debate but sometimes they are made more quickly than the one we just viewed Again, in scripture, there's something called evil suspicion. And it screams to me, tradition, not exegesis. 
Did you catch that? I saw I'll it. Play it again. I saw it. it. Here's something else that's interesting. This is a picture of a wolf displaying what people might consider to be a demonic-like snarl. And here's another clip of White in the debate. Wait, what? What? Hey, hold on. How did we get to a demonic-like snarl from the wolf? Who are these people who consider that? It, are these people Peter Dunn? And he brought them into his house and set food before them. Let's play that again. Okay. And he brought them into his house uh -huh. and set food before them. In light of this information, it should be quite obvious to what? those with eyes to see that James uh -huh. White is possessed by a devil. Uh -huh. Remember, we fight not against flesh and blood, but against the cosmic powers of the darkness of this age. What, what kind of darkness would inspire a person to actually put together a video like this? That's, that's what I want to know.